I was able to go from zero to over 170,000 Instagram followers in less than six months. Not only that, but I was able to start making well over $10,000 per month from sponsorships, digital products, and other income sources that came with it. And if I had to start from zero all over again, this is exactly what I would do to hit my first 10,000 followers in the next 30 days. 80% of your growth and success on Instagram is going to come from your content. However, before you start posting your content, I really recommend you to set up your Instagram page professionally. Don't overthink it and don't spend more than one day when setting up your Instagram page but make sure you spend some time to make it look really nice a clear profile picture with your face a clean and straight to the point bio you can use my bio as an example to craft your own if you can i recommend to come up with a shorter username because it's going to be more sticky and easy to remember so once we have all that set up it's time to start posting the content and growing the page however there is one thing that a lot of people miss and when they miss that they start posting content and the content looks like this so if you want your content to look like this, this, and this, high quality, clean, aesthetic. First things first, open your Instagram app, go to settings, go to data usage and media quality. Make sure that upload at the highest quality is selected. And also, whenever you're posting your reel, make sure you have a strong Wi-Fi connection. Multiple times I posted through 4G and it just turned out to be really bad quality. I don't know why. Then you should be good to go. Now, once you have all your baseline set up, you are ready to start producing the content and growing your page. But mistake a lot of people make, and I've made this mistake in the past, is trying to make completely original content and not utilizing what is already working for other people on the platform. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to show you a video which is taken from my Instagram creator course, where I show step-by-step -step how to come up with the best content ideas for your page. And doesn't matter what niche you are in, it's going to apply to anyone who's trying to grow on Instagram. One of my students, Josh, applied this content strategy and got nearly 1 million views on one of his reels and half a million on another. And Josh started this Instagram page just a few weeks ago. That's what happens when you work smarter, not harder. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you right now and for those that want to skyrocket their growth like josh and want to work with me directly feel free to check out the first link in my description where i left a link to full instagram creator course with extra 200 dollars off but now let's dive into the content sniping strategy so first things first we would open up that instagram right and we would go to the explore page right now i'm not on the, on my phone so i'm just gonna use explore page on the computer to show you the example. So this is what I mean by content sniping. I would then go to some of these uh, like creators page and have a look. As you can see on average, his reels generating about 25,000 views. If you count all the views that we see here on average, it's let's say 25,000, okay? We scroll down below, we're gonna find this reel. So as you can see on average, it's 25,000, 25,000, all the same. And then we find this reel. And this is what I call by content sniping you gonna find anomalies and these type of reels that has significantly more views than the other reels what you would do is then you would go and see the audio that has been used that's the first thing we already know how to select the good audio and as you can see this audio is phenomenal to select and then what we would do we would take this one we would simply open up the plan of attack excel sheet that i gave you and we will put it down here and of course we would uh, recreate this one all right so now when you know how to select the best content for your page it's time for you to make a plan of attack and start posting your content i recommend to use the first week strictly for setting up your page and doing content research just making a list of 15 to 20 pieces of content that you are going to recreate yourself just outline all content ideas with actual links to a notion file or a google docs file and start remaking those pieces of content yourself assuming that it took you about one day to set up your page one to two days to come up with content ideas by using content sniping strategy you will still have about four to five days left in the week so you can use those days to start making content what i would do is i would strictly focus on quality so i would make one reel every single day in that case you would have about five reels ready do not post them yet just keep them ready and when the second week comes 
start posting the content and also making new content for the next week. In that way, you're always gonna have content to post in your arsenal. But before you start posting the content, it's really, really important that you are utilizing the viral audio strategy. It's no longer a bro science that viral audios work. Instagram actually gives you achievements for using viral audio. When you use a good viral audio, Instagram gives you an achievement of trendsetter and Instagram pushes you much more if you use good audio. So this is how you're gonna find good audios you can use. What I found is that pages like these, whenever they drop like a remix, it's always a good idea to use that remix as audio on your reel. These remix audios are going extremely viral. And just to show you how powerful it is, just look at the results I got myself on the page that I started recently. One of the videos reached 2 million views by using the viral remix. And another one is almost at a half a million views. And it's because I jumped on the audio at the right time. Time. So make sure to follow pages like these, turn on post notifications and be ready to post whenever they drop a new remix. I also found that posting two to three hours before the peak time, it's always better rather than posting at a time that Instagram gives you. If you go to your audience insights, you can pretty much see when your followers are the most active on the platform. However, I found much more success when posting two to three hours before that time, but it also goes in cycles. So you're gonna have to test this one yourself. However, when you're starting out, this is not something that you should focus on really much because you don't have a large audience anyways. So just make sure to focus on creating good quality content and also utilizing the trending audio strategy to increase your chances of going viral. All right, so how often should you post? As I mentioned, I would recommend you to post 15 to 20 pieces of content your first month, which equals to about five reels per week. If you can't do five, do three minimum. So you posting every second day. Consistency is not that important when you start out, but the volume is gonna make you a better at creating content. So make sure you're not posting less than three times per week. A lot of people also ask me, should I use hashtags? And my answer to that is, I don't think they make much difference and I personally don't use them. I see that some people do use them. I see some people don't use them, but with the algorithm being the way that it is right now, I don't think it makes much difference to use them. Because look, when was the last time you went to actual hashtag to find your favorite piece of content? Exactly. So when you start getting followers, one really important thing that people miss out on is actually engaging with your followers and talking with them. Instagram works in a way that your followers that you are engaging with are going to see your content more often. If you talk with them in the DMs, answer their questions, etc., there's much higher chance that your stories and your posts are going to be shown to your followers more often. And here's an amazing way to utilize the strategy and also get a ton of story views on your profile. So when you start growing followers, create a free product for them. It could be anything, free ebook, a course, notion template, a preset, people love free stuff. Trust me. Then put out a story saying that you're giving away this free product to the X amount of people who reply to this story. People are going to start flooding your DMs. Your story views are going to go through the roof and you're also going to be engaging with them on the DMs by giving them a free product. And your other stories and other posts are gonna be recommended to them even more. I would recommend to do this type of giveaway two to three times per week to maximize performance of the strategy. Other than that, I hope you learned something new with this video. If you did, please drop a like, that's gonna help me a lot. And you would definitely benefit from this video where I talk about how to create and launch your digital products. So with that being said, click here and watch it right away. And thank you so much for watching.